guys, it's me, Stace. Uh, welcome back to another Whatever Wednesday video. For today's video, I want to share with you guys our current household filing system. I want to share with you the tabs, the categories I have, things that are in it, and the way it's currently working. And this kind of got inspired by that box. This box has all kinds of paperwork I need to file. It just kind of, you know, built up from month to month of me being lazy, not putting things away. And you can see it's like really filled. But I thought before I tackle that to put it away, I want to tackle this to organize it. So my goal with the filing system today is to hopefully rearrange it, um, declutter it, and make new tabs and have things in better categories. And how I have this set up is an ABC order, just kind of works for me that way. And with this system, what we normally do is the beginning of a new year, like for example, January 2nd or 3rd of 2017, we'll go through this and toss out or shred all 2016 papers to make room for 2017. But I'm a paper collector, and you'll see that as I go through. Like for example here, for Bank of America, I have all the statements for 2016. I don't need to keep all these. I do like having a physical copy of it. You know, most of these categories, I go online and view the statement, but I still like having a copy. And I don't need to save all this. So I'm going to kind of narrow that down as well. But first, let me share with you guys the categories. Now, this is real life, what we have. Um, so hopefully by me doing this, it'll inspire you guys to go in there and tackle your filing system. So they're on ABC order. It kind of works better for me that way. I have Allstate, which is our insurance companies for the car and hubby's bike. Amazon, my credit card. Bank of America. Breakers, which is our rent. Care Credit, another credit card. Chase, my credit card. Clayton is our mortgage company. I have one for Dinah, one for Harley. Hardy, the other Hardy is Hubby's Bike Statements. HSN is my credit card. JCPenney is Hubby's credit card. JEA is our electric company. Kohl's is my credit card. Medical is just miscellaneous medical. Hubby's Pay Stubs. Our Rings, Rooms to Go is Hubby's credit card. Sprint is our cell phone company. Um, Tax Collector, Terminex. US Bank is Hubby's credit card. Vistar is another bank we go to, Hubby's Work Papers, Xfinity, which is our cable company. I have one for the cruise, the Malibu, miscellaneous, then Hubby's Insurance and my insurance. Now, my new categories, um, to kind of cut back and to better organize it, is the first six folders here I'm going to mark monthly. So I have one folder for January, February, one for um, March, April, so forth and so on. So the, the first thing I'm going to do as far as tackling it is go through and find whatever we pay monthly. Okay, so I know we pay um, JA. Okay, that's our electric company. We have an electric bill every month. That can kind of go here. Um, Xfinity, which is our cable. And then we have Sprint. Now these are just utility bills that we pay every month. And you can see by going through these, I keep all the JA bills, I keep all the cable bills, and I keep all the Sprint bills. And like I said, I, would, I still want to keep one or two of these. So for example, in January, February, I know all three of these bills are due. I can keep January, February cable bill and January, February phone bill in this one. When they are paid, I can then take um, March and April category and I can bring over February until March and April comes in. So I can, you know, so from these three folders here, I'm going to narrow them down to one monthly folder. Okay. All right. Then we have um credit card so we'll start with my credit cards so i have amazon um i have chase i have hsn and i think that is it no i have kohl's okay so i have four credit cards and again i'll just label this folder stacy's credit cards and i'll just keep again i don't need to keep all these statements i'll just keep one current statement so I can cut back on all those folders, on all those folders. Next one will be Hubby's credit card. So he has care credit. This isn't really like a credit card. It's one that you could use for like veterinary care or dental care, but we still have a balance on it. So that's a credit card. Um, he would have JC Penney's. He has rooms to go. He has US Bank. Okay, so now, again, all these, were, you know, as so you can see, I'm going to kind of just categorize these to better categories. Then I have one for Dine and Hardy. I'll just have one folder for animals, and I'll just have a little manila folder in there separating Dine and Hardy. Um, now, these ones here, like Allstate, we do have a monthly bill. Um, the bank, I will still keep bank statements, but I'll, put, I'll just make one folder for bank. And I'll have Bank of America and Vistar. And I'll just keep maybe one or two statements of those. And when the new ones come, I can toss out those. All right, then we have um, rent. That's a, a payment each month. 
mortgage company, um, his bike statements, medical, pay stubs, and work. I can kind of bring those together. Let me grab those. So I'll make one folder for work and I'll just put pay stubs in that one. I don't need to keep all those pay stubs, um, even though I can't access them online, but I'll keep some of them, like maybe like a little envelope in there for the pay stubs because they are perforated. I don't need to keep the whole entire thing. So I can cut that back. Now, I have one for the car. So I have Cruise Malibu and actually his bike's supposed to be back here. Um, and in here, we just keep like the book. Um, you know, any kind of work we got done, like we bought seat covers or a tire or whatever it may be. Um, I don't need to keep all this, but um, I don't want to go through it by myself. I'd rather have Hubby help me with that one, only because I'll probably toss something that we need. But I will have a category for each car and then um, his bike and whatever the statements come in. When they get paid, I'll put that, again, a little envelope. I can even attach on the filing cabinet um, itself, like a little pocket, and keep them bills inside there. And then miscellaneous folder. This is like the junk drawer in the kitchen. You know, it's just stuff that doesn't really have a home. Um, but I can, you know, like this is our baptism. That could probably go in our insurance folder or our hurricane folder. Just, just stuff we keep in here. You know, I need to go through all this stuff. I don't need to keep all these cards. Um, so I need to go through that folder. So that will come out and go through that. All right. So what I'm going to do is start narrowing down my tabs. I'll just make new ones of these and label them. Um, or I'll use my label maker. I'm not quite sure how I want to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Then I'm going to come back and share with you guys my progress. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty guys, we are back with the finished filing cabinet. It took me a little over an hour. Not too bad. I will say the whole idea for this project was inspired by Pinterest. I read one blog post on how to organize your filing cabinet. And of course that led to me reading five more of them. And all I did was take snippets from each one, and I used what I thought would work best for our filing cabinet. One of the most common ones was to use a label maker. I did go that route, and I do agree it gives you the appearance of it being better organized because everything is the same, plus it makes the font a lot easier to read. Another common one was to have a few folders in the very beginning of your filing cabinet and have them be designated for months of the year. So I have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and October, and November and December. And the idea here is to help you cut back on paper or paper clutter and be more organized. So for example here, in September and October, you would put in here any bill that was due that month, anything you paid that month, if anything you know needed to be addressed that month, it would go in here. When that month's over, you can take all this out, shred it, and then move on to the next month. So for November and December, I have bills in here that are due that month, so I know when I get to December, the bill's already there waiting for me. And now this does work on Pinterest, but in my case, in real life, it did not work or make sense to me. Because at this point, if I'm already in September, all these other months previous to that are now empty. And I just felt like wasted space, although I do like having them. And I also like keeping all of my papers. Um, a lot of the ones said, you don't need to keep all your cable bills or your electric bills or phone bills for all the months. But I do like keeping them, like a, a physical copy. So I did go through all my categories, I laid them on the floor, separated them, and I did keep all them. So for example, here in January, February, in this pocket, I do have um, any kind of credit card statement that month, or phone bill, electric bill, cable bill, utility bill, whatever it is, bank statements are in here. This way for me, if I need to grab a cable bill from March, I know right here in my March month folder, there's a cable bill versus going online. I know a lot of these companies, you can go online and access your statement there. But again, it's easier for me to grab it here versus going online. Plus, when this year is over, I can take all of it out, shred it and then move on to the, to the very beginning. So that worked for me. So that was one thing I did change. Um, and again, it's the filing cabinet, you have to kind of work, you know, use what works for your family. So that's how I did that part. And then the other categories are other things I needed to have F space for. Um, for example, Allstate, that's our insurance company for the cars and hubby's bike. I did not go through this. As you can see, there's tons of papers in here. Um, some of them, I don't know if there's expired policies in here or current policies or new policies. So I, I'm not doing it. I'll have hubby go through that and he can organize and then of course it'll be cut down a little bit. I have one category for Dinah and then one for Hardy. I was going to have them be the same, but again, it's just one little folder. It's not like it takes up a whole lot of extra room and it's just easier to grab Dinah's folder or Hardy's folder. All right, then we have house in here. I would keep um, receipts, anything, anything, any kind of house receipt or something for the house would go in here. Like we had the flooring, 
receipt from my floor. We had the generator receipt in here. So any kind of house stuff would go in that category. Then I have Med N and Med S. This is um, my husband Nick and myself here for medical. So any kind of medical papers for him go here and my medical papers go there. Then I have rings. It kind of sounds like a weird category and it is, but in here I have all the paperwork for our rings and when hubby takes them to get inspected and cleaned, at least here I know where them papers are. Um, one for the tax collector. Again, there's like one paper in here, but if I didn't have that in here, I, there's no other category to put it. So I made a category for that as well. Um, the work category, I did combine a few of them and kind of put all of them in here. In here, I have awards he's gotten, letters from vendors, um, letters from his work, um, social security papers, and also his pay stubs. I used to keep every single pay stub, but I did cut that back and I've only kept the most recent one. And when he gets the next one, this one will get shredded and the, no the newer one will go in here. Then I just have empty ones here to kind of separate the other categories. I have um, hubby's bike, my car, his car, insurance papers and miscellaneous and again i didn't go through anything in here either because in here there's receipts from like you know chevrolet when we got i don't even know what we got put on there probably a tire or an oil change or whatever you know i don't know if i should keep them or toss them so again hobby will go through that category and he'll let me know what we can keep and not keep and then of course we have the junk drawer of the filing cabinet which is my miscellaneous category again there's so much stuff in here um just silly stuff you know like old cards, empty cards, you know, cards from the kids. There's all kinds of pictures down here. I mean, look, oh, look. There's um, Hardy. Look how little she was. You know, you can see there's the baby pictures in here. Um, just all, like, our wedding pictures are in here. You know, all kinds of just different stuff is in here. Again, look, you even got, even got Kyle Bush in here. Um, receipts. Like, this is for something. Um... I have no idea. It's a main or something. You know, this should look like the catch-all stuff. So again, I'm not going to go through this. I'll have, you know, me and Hubby will sit down one night and go through it. Like all the pictures I know can come out. Um, they all need to get filed away. But the other stuff, I'm not sure about. Like I know there's Christmas cards in here from his mom or dad. Um, they're no longer with us. And I know he wants to keep that. Maybe I'll just scrap them. You know, like as far as scrapbooking them because it has their handwriting on them. So I can maybe do that. Um, we have like our baptism things in here. You know, just miscellaneous stuff really you know uh, my son's graduation pictures Chuck E. T's things so we'll go through that but for the majority I do like um, this system now the one thing I did with my label maker is I put the label on the plastic and I just put cardstock behind it to make it easier to read and for the months that we're in I made it I put red cardstock behind it so it kind of stands out and makes it easier to find and when this month is over I'll just take the cardstock out of that one and then put it behind that one and we'll just move forward that way but Overall, um, like I said, it was about an hour for me to do it, and that's going through everything, having my piles and putting everything back in the proper category. I also have boxes over here that are old insurance policies, you know, old pay stubs that I want to shred, tax papers, um, old bills. Like some of these are back from, you know, 2015. That's how long I keep this stuff in here. So at least for this part, I know all this can be shredded, it's done with, and all this stuff is new for this year. And when this year is over, like I said, November, December, probably January 2nd or 3rd, when we go through the filing cabinet, we'll take all this stuff out and then start new. But anyway, guys, there's my um, finished filing cabinet or my renewed one. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you guys have a filing system you use, I'd love to share. You know, you can share it on the comments below, share it on our Facebook group. Um, do you have a certain system do you use? Do you color code? Um, do, you kind of, do you guys kind of do this system? You know, what works and what doesn't work? I'd love to, you know, hear your thoughts and share it with others. So... Anyway, guys, there's the filing cabinet um, in my Whatever Wednesday video. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.